Many people strive for fame and fortune. Some who have that believe it's important to stay true to your roots. In this week's Queen City Chronicles, Eddie Dobashevitz reflects on broadcast history with the legendary Danny Neverett. For some people, the road to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame took many twists and turns, but for one guy in South Buffalo, the journey began right here on Keppel Street. Most of the people in the neighborhood worked in the steel plant or they worked on the railroad. Growing up on the streets of South Buffalo, Danny Neverth knew from a pretty early age what he wanted to do. He wanted to be on the radio. The career that I chose and was successful in was from listening to radio and watching early television. But no one starts at the top. There's a thing called paying your dues. But I remember going to WGR, applying for a job there. I was a, in, a senior in high school. She said to me, oh, you have to be a college graduate and have at least three years broadcasting experience before they'll even consider talking to you. Oh, oh. Three years later, I was working at WGR Radio. As exciting as it was being on the air anywhere, as the new kid on the block, you had to be realistic. When Clint Buhlman was on in the morning, there was no way you could be number one. Good morning! So just what is the secret to such a successful career? I, I pick and choose. I'm a sum of all of those original things, put together, and then some of my own thought, and that's who I am. How did the weather outside come about? There was a show here called Dialing for Dollars. The Channel 7 people came and said that they were interested in having me come over from the morning show and then do the weather at noon. Well, the general manager of the radio station didn't like that idea. So he said, okay, we're gonna compromise. You can do the weather, but I don't want you to do dialing for dollars. Just one problem, he wasn't a trained meteorologist. The lack of experience never stopped him before. So I put in the funny little film clips, and that covered the fact that I didn't know what I was doing. What do you think would be your proudest moment? My proudest moment is my family. It's nothing to do with broadcasting, really. Even with all his success, he's still just a regular guy. I'm Dan Nevereth from Keppel Street, South Buffalo, St. Monica's Bishop Tymon High School. That's it. From South Buffalo, I'm Eddie Dobashevitz, and these are the Queen City Chronicles.